Yeah, this is Russ. Yeah, on a rainy day. I decided to go to Wendy's. Yeah, I was getting the munchies. Yeah, it's lunchtime, so I figured uh, I'd order something from them. I noticed that they actually have burgers that you can order without the bun. So it might actually be good for me. You can order it with a, a lettuce wrap. So here's what I ordered. I ordered a uh, double cheeseburger, normally $7.09. Add lettuce as a bun, no ketchup, no onion, no bun. Okay, so it has mayo and I think it has uh, uh, mustard on it. Should have some cheese, I would think too, since it's a cheeseburger. So they had a promo, $7.09, discount of $5.09, subtotal $2, and tax is $0.22, cents, so that's uh, $2.22. So I went through their drive through and picked it up real quickly. It was pretty fast. So if you hear any noise, that's because it's raining out there today. <laughs> so you might be hearing the noise of the rain hitting the, uh, the windshield. So sorry about that, but hey, it is what it is. So let's see, let's, uh, let's take the stuff out. We haven't done one of these in a while. <laughs> Napkins, uh, fork and knife. Oh, mayo is separate. Two mayos. This is Heinz Real Mayonnaise. I don't know if we'll put that on, but it's in there. This is what it came in, all right? So let's see how they did it. Here's the receipt as well. Mobile order. Okay. So let's uh, let's open it up. See what they gave us. I'm sitting in the parking lot at uh, one of the grocery stores. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. Wow. This is uh, this is essentially their burger without a bun, just using lettuce. So what they did. Let me put this down here. They cut the lettuce like this. They threw on the mayo. They have. Um, Tomato. I don't know if I can pick this up again for you guys. Let me, let me try that. You guys see that? So they got two patties, two slices of cheese, some pickles, uh, tomato, and mustard on here. I think that should be enough. I don't think I need the meal. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it is. A little messy because I picked it up. Well, it tastes like a Wendy's burger. Brought my own water. Yeah, um, I haven't had a Wendy's burger in, I don't know, 10 plus years? <laughs> I have no idea how long it's been. It's been a long time. Let's try it again. Yeah, um, it's a burger. I mean, really, how different could it be? All right, so, kind of hard to talk. <clears throat> Lettuce wrap burger. <laughs> Well, I can't eat the bun, as you know, because I'm diabetic now. You know, this is not bad for $2.22. Would I pay $7.09 plus tax for this? My guess would be just shy of $8. $8 for two burger patties two slices of cheese, tomato, some pickles, and some lettuce. Nah. You know what I would do instead? Go to a grocery store, <laughs> buy my own uh, ground beef, put it in my uh, George Foreman grill, and make my own, um, my own burger. Look at that. It's pretty messy. So why didn't I do that today? Well, I had an inkling for a burger when I saw their promo. It's raining today. Usually when I um, when I cook up stuff like a burger on the George Foreman grills, I put the grills outside 
and uh, I grill it then. But you know, it's raining, so I can't do that. So I figure, for what it would cost me to do it myself, <clears throat> might be a little cheaper even than the $2 or something. But the convenience of doing it, you know, having something different and going out, um, it's worth the $2.22 for me, <laughs> right? I mean, it's, uh, it is really messy. <clears throat> the lettuce really does not hold in. If you have any type of condiments on it, forget it. it doesn't hold it in there. So you can get it all over your fingers. <laughs> I mean, it's almost like why wipe it off? It's just gonna get on it again next time you pick it up. So how's it taste? Um, <laughs> tastes like anybody else's burger. I mean, it, it is juicy in a sense that it's not dried out tasting. Let's put it that way. Yeah, would I do it again? Yeah, I think I would. Only if it's $2.22 after tax. Would I pay $7 for it? No way. No way. Too expensive. You know, everything is too expensive at this point. Even when you buy stuff to cook yourself, it's too expensive at this point. But that's what happened after the pandemic, right? And so... Uh, Fast food, yeah, it's gone up. I mean, here it is in April. As you know, California's uh, fast food places, the um, $20 minimum wage for employees have gone into effect for restaurants that have over 40, 40 stores or something like that. I keep wondering what that's gonna do to the prices for fast food out in California. And uh, <clears throat> one of my favorite places to eat out in California for fast food would be In-N-Out Burger. Next time I go out there, the In-N-Out's bound to be more expensive. So, That's the last of it. Um, things are expensive out here in the Chicago area. They're bound to be a lot more expensive out there in California. So, uh, you know, I haven't had a, a burger from places like this before in a long time. Um, for the price, I would do it again. I, in fact, I'm tempted to go out there and get another one right now. <laughs> This doesn't satisfy me, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Um, trying to put this back together. Yeah, kind of hard to put together. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> I just wanted to bring you guys along, let you know that I was uh, doing something other than doing the salad and chicken. Um, I did that for breakfast. Actually, I didn't do the salad. I just ate the ate a, a chicken leg. <laughs> had a can of tuna with some mayo on it have a very small pork thing as well and um, that was my breakfast so lunch um, lunch is this one Wendy's I, I mean I could go get another one but it's just gonna add to the calorie count I weighed myself again today because as you know I was 1.2 pounds away from my goal of 30 pounds down and I weighed in at one pound down from 30 so one pound to go to hit 30 pounds off so uh, <clears throat> yeah we don't want to we don't want to ruin that <laughs> so I lost 0.2 pounds in a day and uh, yeah I, I will definitely hit the 30 pounds down before my first uh, official spring um, rides so it's it's rain like I said it's been raining here in the Chicago area 
Um, I think a lot of the United States has rain for this week. But I looked at the weather reports and it seems to be around 60 degrees or higher, just a tad higher than 60 degrees for next week. Um, hopefully there's no rain involved. It didn't show any. The things can change, as you know. So I think next week I will be able to get to go out and uh, do uh, some reviews of the bikes and the scooter that came in. Um, this video here will probably be the Anything Goes Monday video. <laughs> Yeah, this is a little different. This is not what we will normally do, but you know, I just I just had to get something. <laughs> just I'm getting a little tired of of the salads. And people have told me that too. You'll eventually tire of the salads. Yeah, we're getting there, but I'm not giving that up. I'm going to continue to go with that and try to keep dropping some additional weight. Some some of you guys have said, yeah, keep dropping more weight. Don't just stop at 30. No, I, I don't plan to stop. That's the goal to hit at least the 30. <laughs> so we will hit that for sure. Um, but yeah, if I can keep going, I mean, ideally, if I can drop from that point, if I hit 30, I would be 238. If I could drop another 30 pounds from there, I would be real happy. <laughs> that would be that would be about the time that would be around the weight that I was maybe when I got married, something like that. So yeah, you're talking a long time ago. <laughs> I married in 1985 so yeah it, it's it's been a long time I, I recall um, my weight being um, always kind of high you know but it, it just got worse and worse as, as the years went by and of course you know when I got uh, the knee problems and stuff the the weight you know really started skyrocketing because you're not as active anymore and so um, and then of course there's nothing to do you just sit there and eat so can't do that anymore we already know that <laughs> so uh, my goal is to keep dropping as much as i can i don't know whether i can get all the way down to that 200 something pound range it's, it's really difficult for me um, to get down there so we'll go as far as we can right but um i, I have to add some additional things besides the uh, the uh the salads you know the whole thing with the salads the salads and the chicken that's for weight loss not necessarily just for the diabetes because you know I just ate this hamburger it's not gonna spike anything there's no sugars in it I don't have anything that are carbs in there <laughs> so it'll, it'll do nothing uh, to hurt me in terms of the diabetes so I can eat other things but stuff like this you keep eating things like this is just gonna help gain weight but you know every now and then it's okay you know you can, um, I mean there's people who eat this every single day right I'm not doing that right now I'm just doing it every now and then I have something so I was tempted again to go to Gordon Corral, but yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, if I would've gone to Gordon Corral, it would've cost me $15. This cost me $2.22. So will I do this more often? Yeah, as long as they still have the promo, I might do it more often. I have to just kind of keep checking these places to see uh, what promotions there are, because you know I don't like to pay a ton of money for stuff, <laughs> as you know. And so, um, you know, keeping keeping the finances there, and then also uh, keeping the calorie count down, and keeping the sugars and the carbs down. That's the that's the big thing for me now. It's the challenge for me. Anyways, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I'll talk to you guys next time.